dear students i just gave you a lecture on the first unit of uh, the english book of first year now i'll give you an elaborate explanation of uh, the address of mohammad ali jinnah Gen governor general of pakistan in dhaka east pakistan march 21 1948 Speaking from an 18-foot high rostrum before a gathering of about 5 lakh people, the largest in the history of Dhaka, Qaid Azam arrived at the meeting ground with imposing magnificence under a military escort and majestically proceeded to the rostrum and was warmly cheered by the vast multitude of East Bengal plains, showered petals and cameras clicked. The Governor-General saluted the people on all sides before taking his seat and was garlanded by Khwaja Habibullah, Chairman of the Reception Committee, the following is the full text of the speech of Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. I am grateful to the people of this province and to you, Mr. Chairman of the Reception Committee and to the people of Dhaka for the great welcome that has been accorded to me. I, near, I need hardly say that it has given me the greatest pleasure to visit East Bengal. East Bengal is the most important component of Pakistan, inhabited as it is by the largest single bloc of Muslims in the world. I have been anxious to pay this province an early visit, but unfortunately, other matters of greater moment had so far prevented me from doing so. About some of these important matters you doubtless know, you know, for instance, of the cataclysm that shook the Punjab immediately after partition and of the millions of Muslims who in consequence were uprooted from their homes in East Punjab, Delhi and neighboring districts, and who had to be protected, sheltered and fed pending rehabilitation in Western Pakistan. Never throughout history was a new has a new state handled them with such competence and courage. Our enemies had hoped to kill Pakistan at its inception. Inception is beginning. Pakistan has, on the contrary, arisen triumphant. Triumphant is happy, successful, stronger than ever. It has come to stay and play its great role for which it is destined. Destined means it has been made for this. In your address of welcome, you have stressed the importance of developing the great agricultural industrial resources of this province of providing facilities for the training of young men, 244, and women of this province for entry into the armed forces of Pakistan, of the development of the port of Chittagong, and the communications between this province and other parts of Pakistan. Now, basically, I, why I uh, was trying to read this uh, speech to you was, I wanted to give you a background. The background basically is that qaid azam in the beginning, as soon as Pakistan was made, there were many problems. So, he wanted to... Uh, put his attention into the problems that were graver than the others. So the gravest of the problem was the was because of the people traveling from India to Pakistan. While they were traveling, they were being tortured, killed, butchered. Butchered is being killed heinously. It's a heinous crime to butcher anyone. So all these words mentioned in your lesson are because they want to show you how grave the situation was, how bad the situation was. So the entire lesson is trying to make you understand that the partition of Pakistan was a very difficult time for all the Muslims. The Muslims who had traveled, left their homes in India and had traveled all the way to Pakistan, they had tons of problems. Now, Qaid Azam was trying to explain in this lesson that they should change their point of view about work. Only government service is not the only thing that is important. He's trying to imply in this speech that there are other works other options for all people who study because when you work when you want to study and you want to work there are many high options it's not only the government service 